So this lady had um, upper limb lipedema liposuction six weeks ago, and I have liposuction from the wrist, um, both the dorsal and the volar forearm, and the posterior arm as well. And I also often do the back of the um, arm as well. And she had a total of a litre removed from each um, upper limb. And here you can see the small little stab incision scars, uh, and they're settling down quite nicely. They're, they're initially pink, which is what we would expect, but in the course of the next few weeks to months, they'll gradually fade over time and they're barely perceptible. Similarly, the one on the elbow, here you can barely see. The skin has done extremely well, I must say, in her, and has shrunk down very well. You can't even tell that she's had the liposuction. An interesting f um, f uh, phenomenon that she's noticed is that she's getting increased hair growth on her uh, dorsal forearms. And this is not uncommon following liposuction before lipedema. You see the same feature, the same sign, when you do liposuction on the lower limbs. So she's had a fantastic result from the upper limb lipedema liposuction. She also had fat grafting to her knees at the same time as that operation, in which I injected about six cc's of um, purified fat into both knees, and she tells me it's had a profound effect. She's now free of pain in her knees. She's able to crouch down, which she couldn't do before, um, and her knees feel a lot more comfortable. And this is actually really encouraging for me because it says the treatment works for lipedema, um, painful knees. And it's a very low morbidity operation and it has a profound effect. So for her, she's gonna continue wearing the compression garments on the upper limbs, uh, probably for a few more weeks, and then afterwards she can take them off. Uh, and then she can resume all her normal activities, but she's had a great result. Very pleased.